Hello guys, today we will work on the F-150 again, we will install a catch can and the point is to catch the bad stuff coming from the engine into the catch can instead of pushing it back in the intercooler and in the intake which get the injectors and the intake valves pretty dirty and pretty fast. This is the job for today so stay tuned. Our Rick Stuff store is finally open, so go on Spreadshirt.ca today to save as much as 15% on your Rick Stuff gear and accessories. Type Rick Stuff in the search bar and you will be redirected directly on our store page where you'll find everything you need, whether it is for man, woman, kids or even dog accessories. So the first thing to do is obviously to remove the engine cover. On this 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, you need to remove the oil cap before you can lift the engine cover. So what I did, since I didn't want any dirt or contaminant to go into the crankcase, I just lift a bit of the engine cover and I put back the oil cap straight away. So the way I ex can explain you uh, how it works, is uh, the pressure from the crankcase is redirected into the intake uh, to burn the excess of oil and all the dirt uh, from the crankcase but the problem is with this side of the setup uh, is that it's connected and it's sucked from the the crankcase and uh, at low speed it sucked directly in the intake it get the intake valve pretty dirty and there's another system on this side which also uh, suck the dirt or all the crap from the crankcase and this one is for uh, fastest idle uh, fastest rpm higher rpm and it get sucked by the turbo so it get into the turbo and it go into the intercooler and uh, there have been a lot of misfire reported and malfunction reported on multiple forums because after the intercooler get dirty enough it start to send very bad stuff into the intake and it turned the high efficiency of this engine setup into a very bad uh, recipe for disaster misfire and all kind of bad stuff and is the reason why the EcoBoost need a catch can more than any other engine because it's turbo compressed and all the bad stuff is going into the intercooler, into the turbos and into the intake and finally into the engine and you it's happened that you are burning very bad stuff when you think you're running your engine uh, super clean uh, so this is why a catch can it's pretty important on these trucks uh, you will see some video about uh, people controversy of why you should not install a catch can and stuff like that obviously it's made for ecology so uh, it burns the bad stuff so it doesn't go in the air but I will install a breather uh, which is kind of a small air filter so it will catch the emanation from the engine and won't let it escape escape in the air so from an ecologic point of view installing a catch can it's not the best but to protect your investment uh, you must install a catch can because you will run into problem eventually with your EcoBoost if you don't do it to build your catch can setup, you need to remove the hoses from the valve cover to the intake and from the other valve cover to the turbo because we need to reuse the connection of those hoses. I've decided to install my catch can into the engine bay instead of in front of the radiator like uh, some people do because my catch can is small enough and it can fit right there. If you do like me want to install your catch can on the firewall you need to make sure to take screws short enough so you don't puncture anything 
inside the firewall. As I will mention later in the video, I'm already regretting the size of my catch can. The thing is, I was not expecting the engine to produce that amount of gunk that fast. <clears throat> so to remove the connector from the hoses without damaging the connectors uh, the best way is to eat the hose with a heat gun if you have one before cutting the hose so uh, it will be way easier to cut through the plastic without damaging the o-rings or anything on the connection itself this one will go from the valve cover and this end will go to the inlet of the catch can uh, while this one uh, will be the outlet of the catch can uh, or the vacuum I got a T here with a check valve going this way so uh, this end will connect to the intake for the low RPM vacuum and uh, I also have a check valve here so when this one will suck there is no air that will come from the turbo so all the air will come or will be sucked at the from the catch can and the same air uh, with that check valve this one's going at the turbo when the turbo will suck it won't suck the air from the intake since I, in, I put a check valve here so there won't be a disruption between those two O's and uh, I will have a constant vacuum uh, sucking the catch can as you can see here there's a hose and I plug the tip but because I haven't received my valve yet. I will install a valve. So I'm done now guys. So it's time for a recap. The hose from the intake was going directly to the valve cover. Which is the low RPM suction or vacuum. Now it goes. I have a check valve here. And it goes to the catch can. And it's also going underneath in the T. There's another check valve here and it goes on the turbo underneath and it goes on the turbo here. The hose that was coming from the valve cover to the turbo, I installed a breather. I already tried the engine cover and it fit well, so it will be perfect. The engine will breathe. And uh, I don't have to cap it or install a breeder of my uh, oil cap. Now for the valve cover uh, hose, which was going to the intake, it's going straight into the uh, in inlet of the catch can. So the travel of the oil vapor will be from the valve cover into the catch can. There's a strainer and a filter and everything in there and uh, it, the fresh, not the fresh air, but the cleaned vapor will go out in this hose, sucking in the intake or in the turbo, depending on uh, which one will suck more uh, at high RPM or at low RPM. And at the other hand of the valve cover, I have a breather. I know this engine is very dirty. It will be a project when the temperature will be more friendly. But it's been uh, two weeks already since I'm driving with this. And uh, I already regret uh, that I bought a so small catch can. It's about one cup. And uh, when I uh, empty it this afternoon, it was halfway full, only with two weeks. And I'm not driving every day, so uh, I strongly suggest to anyone who wants to install a catch can, at least on this vehicle, to buy something bigger than that. I thought it will be enough 
but uh, it's very very too small maybe it's a good thing for a small car a small car where they know uh, much place but on this truck I strongly suggest at least half a pint uh, so you you won't have to empty it all the time I will replace it soon because I don't want to empty it every two weeks or every three, three weeks now I had to put a reminder on my cell phone because if I forget about that it will be full and it will be sucked back in the intake I drove about 500 kilometers since the last time I emptied a catch can so let's have a look on how much crap I got in that catch can in 500 kilometers delicious almost like a chocolate but So this is it guys it's not much but it's pretty ugly smell gas plus oil so this is what you have in your engine if you don't install a catch cam we are fueling with uh, 91 and 93 uh, octane fuel especially because we want to run our engine clean and the company run our engine with that inside burning that crap I'm sure it's not very good on the performance but anyway uh, I strongly I strongly suggest that you install a catch can if you don't have one already so yeah I think there's no much more to say so this is it for now please like the video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little bell so you'll be notified as soon as I will release a new video so on this I wish everybody a great day and see you later cheers